guys, here of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off this DIY with a tray that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'll be covering the lip of the tray with mirror reflective paper and then carving out the rough edges with an X-Acto knife. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm gonna keep this aside and take an old cutout of foam board that has been covered with mirror reflective paper. This is from another project so I'm going to use this instead of throwing it away. I'm going to draw a circle around it and then make a deep groove on that circle and carve it out. The inner side is going to be covered with Mod Podge, a thick layer of Mod Podge. And then after that, I'm going to be sprinkling crushed mirror glass on it. I'm going to keep this aside to dry for some minutes and then apply another layer of Mod Podge over it to seal it in. I kept that aside and then took the tray that I earlier worked on and made a hole in the middle. The hole is going to be for the clock machine. I want to try out these reflective sheets and after putting them on, they did not turn out the way I wanted them to be. So because of that, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree trays and cutting them to the size that's going to suit the middle. I need a round shape for the middle of the clock and I'm going to be getting that from the tray as well. This is the clock machine that I have that I'm going to use for this project. I won't be able to use glue gun to attach the pieces to the tray. So what I did was to use spray adhesive to keep the pieces flat on the tray. I kept this aside and took the other piece that I worked on earlier. And then I cut another round board from a board that had pieces of mirror reflective paper on it. Now I'm using all these parts and pieces because I want to make use of the leftovers that I have at home instead of throwing them away. Now I'm going to be attaching it to the first board. This is so that the edges will be reflective since I did not make a perfect cut for the middle. And the tray itself is not big enough to cover it, so that's why I did this. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach the clock machine to the back. This little piece will be added in the middle just to add to the design. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the hour hand, minute hand, and the second hand.
When I was done, the outer circle still looks pretty rough. So because of that, I'm going to switch it up with a larger tray and covering up the lip of this other bigger tray with mirror reflective paper, just like I did for the other tray that I used in the middle. I'll be using this flexible mirror sheet to make Roman numerals for the wall clock. You can also use mirror reflective paper on a poster board to cut out your shape. I'm just using this because I have it at home already. I'll arrange the Roman numerals on the table first before I then glue them onto the clock. I glue them to the clock using a hot glue gun. This is a large wall clock and I love the way it turned out. Now the second wall clock that I'll be making is something that was highly requested for over two years. Here are some different photos on where I have used my clock. These are all different apartments where I've lived in and I always use this clock. This clock makes a bold statement on the wall, but guess what? It's not expensive. And the link for the clock machine alone is gonna be down in the description box below. Because of the request, I had to buy another large wall clock. Unfortunately, I got this one that had some awful numbers that I don't like at all. But this is how it comes. And this is what you find in the pack. It has flexible mirrors that you're going to be attaching to the foams. And these thick foam boards are self-adhesive. Like I said earlier, they come with numbers that I didn't really like. So I'm going to be using my flexible mirror sheets to cut out the time indications for the clock. The flexible mirror sheets all have adhesive backing that is similar to what comes with the actual clock. Now, instead of using foam boards, I used felt pads that are used for furniture that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is not as thick as what I have here, but this is gonna work just fine, as long as it's gonna cast a certain shadow because of the thickness on the wall. It also has an adhesive backing. This is what it looks like when I was done. This is the wall where I intend to have the clock and it's gonna be next to the entertainment center that I have in my bedroom. And I'm using what came with the clock as my guide to make sure that I position each and every one of the time indication correctly. When I was done, I mounted the clock machine and took off the protective films from each and every one of the mirror pieces. This is such a huge clock compared to the first one. You can pick any of the two that you like and work on it. I really hope you all enjoy this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.